just been watching oh, pretty inspirational uh, conference with um, reform, well, conference, meeting, rally, whatever you want to say, up in Birmingham. Um, watched, oh, I think his name's A.V. Youssef. He's, he's, well, he shouldn't have to state this, and this, this I find so bloody annoying, but I'll say it anyway. He is a Muslim. He's a Muslim who happens to be now the biggest donor to reform. Now, it's just a shame that you've got to mention that. Because reform have obviously been tarred with this racist brush that the other media are very, very happy to spread because they're terrified. Because the whole political establishment is absolutely bloody terrified of reform. And the, the, again, the fact that they have to point out how diverse their candidates are. You know, they've, they've got Hindus, they've got Muslims, uh, they've got Sikhs. They've got maybe bloody there, yeah, and that, I'm just talking about people. And I hate this bloody term with a brown skin. Oh, god, someone with a brown skin can't have them near us. Well, it's funny enough because we can and we do because these people that consider themselves to be British and they love this place, you know, they love you know, whether it's England, Wales, Scotland, whatever, they love being British, and it is just you know, the, the fact that Channel 4. And it does look like it is a fact now that the Channel 4 would hire an agency to get an actor to portray a racist, um, what was he, like a supporter going out campaigning you know, for reform. And the media, of course, they, they, well, they jump all over it. I mean, they inspired it. Uh, so this, this is the, the, the crap. I mean, I, I, I've said this repeatedly, you know, I've been out and been called all sorts of things, as most people have that have been campaigning with before, have been called racist over and over and over again. This is not, um, obviously it's these people's perception. It doesn't make it fact. The fact, you know, the media push and push and push it because it's the only argument they've got. Because I said, they're terrified. Reform has the answers. They have the answers that this country needs. And they've got an amazing leader now in Nigel. They had, you know, Richard was, was fantastic. You know, never, ever, ever put him down. But Nigel seems to be able to inspire people. And the support that he's getting across the country is just phenomenal. So come Thursday, what we need is 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 the is the Brexit moment again? You know when when Brexit was coming up, most people and this is this is a shame, a real shame. But this is again due to the media that they vilified people that were um, little Englanders. That you know they were they were either little Englanders, they were um, racist, whatever. This was the reason for voting out of the EU. No bollocks. It was nothing to do with that. People saw. The way that the, the parasites, the EU are parasites. Anyway, for whatever reason, people wanted out, but people were ashamed to say that they were voting out. And this, I think, is what is happening now. A lot of people will vote reform, but they are scared to show their support because they know that they will be criticised for it and they will be accused of being racist, little Englands, or whatever. Yeah, that you know, this is because obviously reforms um, strategy as far as mass immigration is concerned. So they're scared to, to say that they actually reform, you know, that they're reform supporters. As I say, Brexit moment, that is what is needed. People that are sitting back, they may be scared of saying and showing their open support for reform because they don't want to be criticised, but still vote, vote for them. Let's hope come Thursday, this establishment is shaken up absolutely that they get what they deserve for running this country into the ground aiding the, and abetting you know the, the the world economic forum and the who to take control i can't say it take control of our lives we need to get over that get out thursday vote reform scare just galvanize the establishment to in to movement we need change in this country and the only change we're, we're going to get, we're not going to get it with Labour. Well, we might get change, but it'll be for far, you know, for the worse, if that is possible after the Tories, but I do believe it is. So get out and vote reform. Come Thursday, say, shake these people up. The people that are 
determined to control and ruin your life, get out and vote against them. Because the only party that is in existence in this country that is not affiliated or tied to the World Economic Forum is reform. So get out and vote.